welcome to Linux help tutorial. I am going to explain about how to set up Glassfish 4.1 with Java 8 in Ubuntu. Glassfish is an open source application server for the development and deployment of Java platform and web technologies that are based on Java technology. It supports different Java based technologies like Enterprise Java Beans, JPA, Java Server Faces, JMS, RMI, JSP, servlets, etc. Glassfish provides a lightweight and extensible core based OSGI aligns standards with a web container. It has a very good easy to use administration console with the update tool for updates and add on components. It has a good support for high availability, clustering, and load balancing. Now we can see how to set up the Glassfish server. First, you need to add the Java PPA to install the Java. Before that, we can install some dependency packages. The command is apt-get install python hyphen software hyphen properties. Now give enter. Now give us to download and install the packages. Next, we can add the Java PPA. The command is add apt hyphen repository space ppa colon web up d8 team slash java now give enter now again press enter to continue now the ppa is added to the system now we need to run the apt get update command apt get update next we can install the java 8 the command is apt get install oracle iphone java 8 iphone installer now give enter now give s to download and install the package this command will download and install the java package now give s to accept the oracle binary core license now the java package is getting downloaded after downloading it will install the package this will take some time now the java installation is completed next you need to set the java home variable the command is nano slash etc environment in the second line just add the java home variable java underscore home is equal to double quotes slash user slash lib slash jvm slash java iphone 8 iphone oracle now close the double quotes now save the file and exit after saving the file you need to reload the file source slash etc environment now give enter and the file is reloaded now we can check the version of the java java hyphen version now we can see the java version 8 is installed next we can install the glassfish server now change the directory to slash temp now we need to download the glassfish server package here's the download link copy this link you can download it using the wget command wget and the download link now give enter now the package is getting downloaded this will take some time now the package is downloaded now we need to extract the package to the slash of directory the command is unzip glassfish space hyphen d slash opt now the package is extracted so now we need to set up the glassfish path now edit the dot profile file nano tilt slash dot profile now give enter now at the last you need to add the following path export space path equal to slash opt slash class fish for slash bin colon dollar path now save the file and exit now we need to reload the file source tilde slash dot profile now give enter now the file is reloaded next we can start the glassfish server the command is as admin space start iphone domain now give enter now the domain is getting started now the domain is started now to check the glassfish server running you can open the browser now enter the ip address colon 8080 now give enter 
now you can see the Glassway server is now running. Now next we can set the admin password for the Glassway server. By default, there is no admin password for the Glassway server. The command is as admin space change hyphen admin hyphen password. Now give enter. Now enter the username that is admin. Now the admin password is none. So give enter. Now enter the new password for the admin. Now repeat the password. Now the password is set for the admin. Next we can enable the secure admin login. To enable the secure admin login you need to run the following command as admin space enable iPhone secure iPhone admin now give enter now give the username the password for the user now give enter now the secure admin login is enabled to take effect you need to restart the domain the command is as admin space restart iPhone domain now give enter now the domain is restarted now open the browser and we can log in into the administrative console the IP address colon 4848 so log in into the admin console now give advanced and add exception now you can see the admin console is starting this will take some time now you can see the glassfish admin console login now you need to give the username and password and now click login now you can see you have logged into the admin console and you can see the options that are available the common tasks next we can see how to deploy a var application for that we can use a sample var application the download link is here w get then paste the download link now give enter now the var application is downloaded now to deploy the var file the command is as admin space deploy now the var file name hello.war now give enter now give the admin username and the password for the admin now the application is deployed now to check the var application now open the browser and enter the IP address the AI port number 8080 slash the var application file name that is hello now give enter now you can see the application is deployed to avoid giving the administrative username and password for every time when you are deploying the application we can create a password file to avoid entering the username and password every time nano twd file now give enter now enter the following line as admin i underscore password equal to now enter your password now save the file and exit before deploying the war file we can undeploy the war file that you are deployed now for undeploying the application just run the following command as admin space undeploy now the application name now give enter now enter the admin username and the password now we can deploy the var application using the password file the command is as admin iphone iphone password file space pwd file let's see password file name space deploy space the var application name that is hello dot war now give enter now you can see the application is deployed without asking any admin credentials because the file is deployed using the password file that I created now. The Glassfish server setup is successfully completed in Ubuntu. Thank you for watching.